All right, so today we're talking about, yeah, I hate to say it, you know it, the shank, right? That dreaded word, I don't even like to put it out there, but if you're watching this video, sadly, you might be struggling with that shot, and we're going to fix it, right? Once and for all, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And there is nothing that really breaks my heart more than when I see somebody who comes to my lesson tee, and this might be you, they love golf, right? and they don't even want to play golf anymore because every other shot is the shank. And they, they can't even play golf and they're depressed and it's heartbreaking. But, but there's hope and we can fix it. So let's talk about that. All right, here we go. What, first of all, everybody here, if you've clicked on this video, you know what a shank is. You hit the ball on the inside of the club right here on the hosel, shoots off to the right. All right, so we know that. We don't need to talk about that. You want to know how do you fix it, Todd? How am I going to fix it? Well, the most common reason people shank the golf ball that I see, all right, is because they drag the club too far to the inside. So what does that look like? All right, so let me show you, because this could be you. I got the video right here, excuse me, the camera down the line. When you take the club away, a lot of people who shank it drag the club head immediately to the inside. See how I did that? Notice the butt end of the club didn't move at all. The butt end actually went that way. The club head went this way. Boom, see that? I did a video on this actually uh, on shanking and chipping because it also, the same thing happens when people chip, all right? So when the handle goes one direction, the club head goes the other direction, the club head is out of position. Now, if you don't make any adjustments, watch this. Here we go. Here, if I don't make any adjustments and I just rotate through, what happens? The heel gets exposed. The heel gets exposed because the club head is too far behind you. So it looks like this. I, I'm gonna try to hit the shot. I hope my camera guy's gotta move back a little bit. So we drag it inside, right? If I don't adjust, there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was literally, I didn't think I could do it. That was a dead, dead, dead shank into nine fairway over there. All right, so how are we gonna fix that? Well, what you want is, is you want the club head to be more in front of us. Okay, so the first tip I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a training aid that I use a lot for my students when they struggle with the shank. But the first tip I'll give them is take the handle and move the handle the same direction as the club head. So the handle and the club head move the same direction. All right, so you're set here, move them the same direction. Notice the difference there? That's completely different than that. All right, here we go, I'm gonna hit a shot. Move the handle and the club head the same direction. Oh yeah, all right. I'm back to loving golf again, <laughs> right? It's up in the air, it's in the center face. So that's tip number one. On the golf course, move the handle and the club head the same direction. Now, if I've got students who've been struggling with this a lot, right? And it almost becomes, it gets in their head. This might be you. It's in your head, it's scary. I'll use the plane slider. Now what I like about the plane slider, a couple things. One is it's got the formed grip on it because I, I like my students to have a good solid grip. It's also got some extra weight, which I just think is good for creating a feel. It kind of, the weight exaggerates the movement. So I like that too. But when they take the club away, okay, I want them to keep the golf ball. So I love the plane slider. It's got this kind of, it's got this golf ball on here, right? And I'll say, all right, make sure that that golf ball so he's out in front. Don't let the golf go back and behind you. Keep the golf ball in front. And a couple things happen when they do that. Number one is it's more like, it's, it's a mindset. It's, it's like psychology. They're focused on the golf ball, which means they're not focused on the club face, right? If you're starting shanking it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're so focused on the club face, you can't think about target, ball, you can't think about anything because you're so worried about what this is doing. But if we can change your focus, we get it on this golf ball. Okay, I keep the golf ball in front. So it's a two, we've got a little phrase. Golf ball in front, golf ball falls. So simple. Golf ball in front, golf ball falls. Now when I do that, the club stays in front. If I do the old, remember the old? This way, this way, that golf ball's not in front and that golf ball's not falling. Boom, there's my shank. Right, so golf ball in front, golf ball fall. So what we'll do is we'll do a three setter. Let's go ahead and do it, here we go. Here we go, golf ball in front, falls. Golf ball in front, falls. One more time, golf ball in front, 
golf ball falls. Boom, now I got that feel. Then what I'll do is I'll take the plane slider away, I'll give them the other club, immediately they say it feels light, okay? I'm gonna tell you why that's important in a second, okay? I'll say, all right, golf ball in front. Golf ball falls, boom. Nice and high up in the air. Now why is that important? You heard me say about the club being light. The reason that's important is this is the last tip I'm gonna give you. I didn't even plan on doing this, but it made me think of it using the plane slider. When the club is in front and when the golf ball falls, the club feels light because it's in balance, all right? When the club goes in and around, just do this next time you go to the golf course, it feels heavy because the weight of the club head is out of balance so it feels heavy, right? So in front and in light. So you know the word, I'm not gonna say it anymore. If you're doing it, okay, take a look at your takeaway, see what's happening, keep the club in front. When you go to the golf course, move the handle and the club head the same direction. If you're really struggling with it, pick up a plane slider, have the visual of the club, the ball in front, and the ball falling. If you do those couple things, no longer will you hear that word that I'm not gonna say again, and you'll start hitting better golf shots.